what we both want is a conversation with you patients, with carers, with professionals about the possibilities that exist in the way that we deliver mental health services and beyond in East and South Cheshire. It's easy to think of mental health services as just being psychiatrists or hospitals, but this goes beyond this. As a GP, I see many, many patients who are often passed between different parts of our system, even though we, th we think they're joined up. And it means that people are unnecessarily spending time in hospital or spending too long in hospital and aren't getting the outcomes that they deserve because us as professionals aren't working together around their needs, around communities. And I'd like to explore and use best evidence to redesign care that actually meets the needs of people in the 21st century. And, and often we just go down a certain way of medicine or, or therapies. We don't look at other parts of health and well-being, which are really important, how people get involved in their communities, how the communities can support them, how we can support carers to support people with health problems. So part of this is getting you involved, you who access our services, the public, pe people who are carers, people who are interested in mental health, how do we get you involved so we can shape our services to be the best they can be and meet the needs of local people? And of course, in these days, with my hat on as a CCG chair, we know that funding is limited mm -hmm. um, and there is a great amount of duplication that goes on, even despite the way we yes. set ourselves up. There's a lot of waste, but there's also a lot of good work and we want to actually maintain what goes really well. We don't, this is not about throwing the baby out with the bath water. We know that there's some excellent services and people's needs are really well met. But we also know that with this increasingly tight envelope, we could do things better. And we're gonna to have to make some difficult choices. Mm -hmm. And making those difficult choices requires engagement with professionals and the public. And we need to use best evidence and the views of the people out there who have received care and are receiving care in the past to hear their stories and that will help shape the options that we face as a community moving forward. And, and I think, you know, as Paul said, that people have ended up in hospital or stay too long in hospital because there is nothing else. So it's really important to understand a person's journey through wellness, through ill health and then recovery and how we can support that entire journey. And, and, and as, as Paul said quite rightly, we are aware that there's a financial constraint However, we can use the resources we currently have, which we've got, in a better way to provide better care, more joined up care around people and their communities. And that's the really important thing that we need people to help us with. There will be things that we have not thought about that we need you to help us with. And, you know, we can't possibly know what goes on, what's available, what things really help people. The only we, way we can hear we can know that is if people let us know. So it's really vital that you get involved and help us to shape things for the future. So visit our websites at East Cheshire CCG and at South Cheshire CCG. Go to the CW website, CWP website and get involved in our engagement events either online or in workshops and consultations around our area. We really want to hear your views. No decisions have been made and we want to move forward together as a community to, to build a stronger and more sustainable mental health service in East and Southern Cheshire.